find it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Just shed hunting, I would still do it, but it wouldn't mean what it means to me today. It's special to us. I mean, I'm a, I'm a whitetail hunter, but I would rather go out in the woods with him and look for antlers than even hunt whitetail. So, and it's just, it's the bond that you have with your dog. Good job. Good job. As far as dog's ability to find antlers, most of these dogs from most breeds don't have problems finding the antlers on the course. The tough part, and if a dog is if a dog is going to fail, typically it will be because the retrieve is not successful. I think a lot of it is training, basic obedience. Starting off is sight recognition. Put a shed out, let them understand the shape, the size, send them, find it, and just start open field work, just like you do a retriever, a uh, waterfowl hunt test pup. It just goes one step further with the sight of an antler and then you go into the scent part and you know using their nose to find the antler and, and cover. Yeah, girl. Here, here, come on, Z. Ziva, here, 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 Come on. Good girl. Come on, Ziva, find it. Actually one of the competitors that's here this weekend, Scott Kuchenbecker, he called me one day out of the blue and said, was I aware of the shed dog, that there were shed dogs on the sport of shed hunting? I said, yeah, absolutely. He said, would UKC be interested in um, getting involved in something like that? And I said, yes. It, it perfectly fits um, UKC's lifestyle with dogs. So I started working with Scott. We uh, drafted up a format and it just evolved from there. And it's just, it seems like the public has really embraced this format. So it's growing. It's one of our fastest growing sports right now. Running order and flight rotation. You all receive the list when you check in. You just progress through the different courses, all the courses, have signage on them. Hopefully you've all seen where you need to be on your, your three courses. The national championship format is the only event of the year where it's a culmination of three rounds. So each dog that's entered will be run three times this weekend on a different course, judged by a different judge. They will get a time, you know, the time that they were on the course, and we will combine the times, and the lowest combined time dogs will place. And this event is the only event where we do issue a national championship title. You know, all the dogs will earn championship points towards their degrees. It's everything that UKC has to offer is right here. This is the weekend. <laughs>